Good morning, folks. We've got a number of filaments ripping away from the sun this morning, one heading due north, another one off the limb, and there is also one heading right at Earth, but that will be easier to see in 193 angstroms. Coronal hole confined to the polar region while the bright active regions north and south begin taking over the disk. North center pop near the end of the sequence will repeat on a zoom in and back out. This eruption is small, not anything to fear, but it is an enhancement of the Earth-directed solar wind. We'll have to watch for more not only due to those filaments, but because the sunspots are morphing a great deal. The spots down south are so close to being Beta Gamma Delta magnetic class at the northern reach of the largest lead umbra. Could add flaring to these filament releases here soon. Up first in the articles, they discovered one heck of a solar system. Three planets at least. All have water, rocky mantles, and metallic cores. Planet D has more water than Earth does, has a mild atmospheric temperature, and a 107-day orbital period. But speaking of Earth-like planets, astronomers are now beginning to believe they have missed a number of Earth-like planets around binary stars. Their study of how the glare between them blocks out other items behind the viewing made them realize that if there was a tiny planet in there, they probably have virtually no chance of spotting that one either. Folks, up next, we've got a double on Nova events. First, they are discovering a new type of supernova, which is as weird in reality as it may be to your ears. Yes, a new type of supernova. In reality, they likely need a couple more mechanisms on the books, especially for the smaller non-supernova, the recurring nova. Here, their need to expand is part of what we've been describing for a while. There are a lot of things that nova that may not necessarily have the right name yet, and in terms of the mechanisms, they're largely just guessing. Sometimes they just have no idea what to do with the oddball explosions, so they call them Nova-like. In that paper came a sentence I've long waited for, and so have those who watch our show regularly. A combination of different explosion scenarios are realized in nature. And that's not supernova they're talking about. That's the smaller, recurring nova events. And yes, the mechanism should be fantastically expanded and should be made to include the primary galactic instigation of our sun. I'd say that's a story for another day, but it's a story for today. We've told it already, and something tells me most of you have heard that one. If you missed our video eight days ago on this exact nova issue and the galactic astrophysics of it applicable to the recurrent solar micronova, it's called You Don't Know Nova, and it's linked for you right in the box below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the sun. I'm on my backup computer, so no wind maps today. Subscribe because we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.